Hello, welcome to a new series called the Three O'Clock. This is going to be a quick fire video uh, where we build a six-fold accumulator on the English football kickoffs at three o'clock every single Saturday. Um, it is the start of a new season, and I, I'm going to try and dedicate myself to this season at least for this series and see where it gets us. Uh, we've got the Championship League 1, League 2 kicking off this weekend uh, with the Premier League and maybe the National League next weekend. The National League uh, we're going to include as well, but that'll come a little bit later on. Please get involved with us. Uh, I want you guys to build six-fold accumulators in the comments section and we'll have a little ongoing scoreboard. If you don't know what an accumulator is, uh, you basically select a match and you say whether the home team's going to win, the away team's going to win, or a draw is going to happen. And then there is an odd associated with that and you get a, a nice tasty payout at the end of it if obviously you are betting. You don't need to bet, of course. I'm going to put a couple of quid on my uh, built accumulator on uh, Skybet and just see where I get to. Um, it's probably going to be absolutely disastrous because I'm putting a time limit on this. 10 minute countdown. I didn't really pay that much attention to English football last season because my personal team was fucking garbage. Uh, but we'll, we'll try our best. We know, we know bits and bobs about what had happened last season. So I think I can get a, a pretty clear picture. To give ourselves a bit of variety and a challenge, we're gonna make sure in this six fold, there's either two away victories one draw and an away victory or two draws because it is so so very easy to just stick safe with the home victories okay and now that has been said let's start playing the timer and now we go uh, championship we got blackburn rovers queen's park rangers blackpool reading cardiff norwich hull city bristol city luton town and birmingham city millwall stoke city rotherham united against swansea i think rotherham have just come up wigan athletic against preston north end and middlesbrough against west brom so uh, let's try and avoid this bottom one because anything can happen against middlesbrough and west brom wigan against Preston I don't really want to go for Rotherham United always uh, very weak in the championship Swansea City I, I don't feel like Swansea City are a great away side or oh, if it was someone like Middlesbrough or West Brom away against Rotherham United then I would absolutely back that to be the away the away well one of the away victories that i need uh league one we got accrington stanley charlton athletic bristol rovers forest green rovers uh we got cambridge united against mk dons cheltenham against peterborough derby oxford ipswich bolton lincoln against exeter morecambe shrewsbury plymouth argyle is up against barnsley uh, barnsley just relegated i think from the championship port vale against fleetwood town sheffield wednesday against portsmouth wickham wanderers against burton albion if any of my experience of working in the bookmakers goes, do not, do not back a just a previously relegated side because they are uh, even more of an unknown entity than the ones that are, you know, pretty secure in a certain division, especially away from home against Plymouth Argyle. Uh, AFC Wimbledon, Gillingham, Bradford City, Doncaster Rose. I think Bradford City, I'm pretty sure I saw a tweet that they are trying to sell that thing out um valley parade that could be interesting carlisle united crawley town harrogate against swindon leighton orient grimsby northampton against colchester rochdale crew salford city mansfield stockport barrow sutton united against newport county Tranmere rovers against stevenage and walsall against hartlepool and that has took a good two minutes of my time to just go through the fixtures maybe i need a little bit more than 10 minutes um oh so top of the shot blackburn rovers this this is tantalizing to be honest because queen's park rangers have died down a bit they look like they could have been a possible yo-yo club between the championship and the premier league but they have um disappeared into a bit of irrelevancy not much uh blackburn rovers on the other hand have been climbing up quite nicely and i'm pretty sure they've got a bit of a spring to their step so blackburn rovers 
would be one of my home teams to win i think i'm going to just check their price blackburn rovers are 19 to 20 so they're just under evens like 20 to 19 on if that's even a even a nod i said that i worked in a bookies i wasn't very good at odds um yeah <laughs> um even though swansea city i wouldn't really uh, be confident in them getting an away win i'm looking at the other fixtures and there's there's nothing really screaming to me at this moment in time barnsley could very much get one over against plymouth argyle who i think has just got promoted um but i i do not do not trust for whatever reason relegated sides because they could be very much down in the dumps Leighton orient against grimsby town I think Grimsby Town just got promoted, correct? Obviously, Stockport County will be bouncing. They're at home against Barrow. I went rushing so much, I nearly lost the cap on my bottle of drink. Um, I think Stockport... I honestly think Stockport County will get a result against Barrow. They will be so pumped to be back in that division. Um, I do not see the same with Grimsby Town, to be honest. Leighton Orient are a, a solid outfit for that um, that league. AFC Wimbledon, Gillingham, Bradford City, Doncaster Rovers. Do we go with Bradford City who are going to try and sell that, sell that stadium out? It's going to be a record breaker in quotation marks, apparently. Uh, I do have a Bradford City uh, person that I'm following on Twitter, try and I'll try and follow all the uh, English league clubs. Actually, if we're going to do this every single week, Morecambe against Shrewsbury Town is a possibility. Actually, Shrewsbury for the away result. Shrewsbury are you know a dark horse, a real dark horse. Wednesday against Portsmouth, avoid that like the plague. Wickham Wanderers uh, should be strong against Burton Albion. Burton Albion look like they're slumping, and I very much believe that they're more likely to get to league one than the championship um next time that they move divisions yeah we're gonna go wickham you see the the home the home results are so much easier to predict derby county down here in league one for the first time but they're up against oxford i don't want to go for that one uh well we got cardiff city norwich Luton Town against Birmingham. I mean, Bir Birmingham are a mess. So there's Luton. There's the th four home games for me. Blackburn, Stockport, Wickham, and Luton. Now we need to find the draws or the away victories. We've got four minutes to do it. We've got four minutes. Jesus Christ. Um, and I have no idea what where to even look on this. How do you even how do you even feel? How do you even feel, Curtis? Port Vale have just got promoted into League One. They're up against Fleetwood Town. I don't think Fleetwood I, I'm not trusting enough in Fleetwood Town to get a result here. Charlton Athletic, maybe. Maybe against Accrington Stanley, but Accrington Stanley, a nice solid outfit. You don't think of them as a League One side. They absolutely are. Crawley Town Carlisle. Bradford City against Doncaster. We need to find two away wins or two draws. Although I'm, I do not fancy doing that at all. Uh, Newport County, how are they going to sort, sort themselves out against Sutton United? Sutton United were pretty, pretty desperate last season. I think they finished really near, very close to the bottom. Newport County were actually in the playoffs. That's, that's a call. Newport, I'm going to go for... <sighs> Newport, I'm going to go for... And it's, it's going to have to be Swansea. Swansea City speaking to me, and that is it. That is your sixth fall. Blackburn, Stockport, Wickham, and Luton. I'm even going to try and get the uh, Acker on um, in the two minutes. So Blackburn, Stockport... Stockport really, really uh, low odds, short odds uh, to win at home. Then we got Wickham, Wickham Wanderers, 
Where are you? Where are you? 8 to 11. Luton. Sorry if you are American, by the way, and you have no idea about these odds. It is just how we do it. We do, um... We do the fractions and not the decimals. So here's Luton Town. And that should be four selections. Newport. We've got one minute 30. Newport and Swansea complete the six. Boom. There it is. Hold on a second. Swansea are two to one? Oh, something's not right there. Something's happened at Swansea. Something's happened at Swansea that I do not know about. Calm down, Curtis. Um, all right. Well, we're going to do a, a quick change here. We've got a minute to find something. Harrogate against Swindon. Swindon, really, really low odds here. Oh, I don't know about this. Look, I've got, I've got time. I've got time. Chill, chill, chill. I'm glad that I've checked the odds because something's obviously happen happening at um, at Swansea that I don't know about. Norwich, Norwich against Cardiff, five to four. Norwich will want to bounce back after being relegated. And relegation from the Premier League is a lot different from relegation between League One and League Two and the Championship and League One. I could back them. I could absolutely back them. I think we will get a bounce back from Norwich. As per, they're a yo-yo team. You just see, you just seen how much Burnley have destroyed Huddersfield in the uh, Friday evening kickoff. And we, we're going to go for Norwich. Something's obviously happening at um, Swansea. So we'll go for Norwich. And that is your sixfold. There it is. So Blackburn home win, Stockport home win, Wickham Wanderers home win, Luton Town home win, Newport County something. Okay, I don't want the hour timer. Newport County away win alongside Norwich. And that is the three o'clock. Please tell me in the comment section who you fancy. Make sure you get either draws or away wins in there as well. You want two selections that at least a draw or away win um get them in before three o'clock and you will be included on the scoreboard for the next episode good luck to them teams hopefully you make me some money uh looks like it would uh, well a two pound steak's probably going to get me about 120 quid back not bad uh let's go <laughs> see you next time